What's up guys? Welcome back to the home slice. Today I'm going to try to get through rope cut testing these other fine edges. Before we start into that, I'm going to test a uh, paper slice on this knife that we tested with the Spyderco Ultra Fine last time to see if indeed there are heavy irregularities in the edge. Now this would be sort of the untested portion of the edge and it is still push cutting quite easily. See how the tested portion of the edge is faring. Still slicing paper, but it does kind of want to slow down. There's definitely, yep. There's definitely a slowdown point. Ah. It's definitely a slowdown point very, very close to the mark where I was taking the best measurements. So I think it is probable that my best measurements wandered a bit because sometimes we were hitting more problem areas and sometimes we were hitting less affected areas of the edge just by wandering a millimeter or two in either direction. <clears throat> that said, I think it's worth it to sort of confirm that that's a result before I make a plan to adjust the testing in some way. Um, and it would be cool to cross compare some of the edges. So obviously if this was true, then a uh, Spyderco Ultra Fine would last twice as long as a dual grit edge. And I don't know if that's really reflective of reality, but it'll be interesting to continue testing and just see what kind of results we get. All right, we're gonna start with the yellow handled Victorinox, which has been sharpened to 250 grit on the Easy Lap diamond metal plates. Okay, well, uh, I've run out of rope, so I'll, I'm gonna have to run and go grab some. Probably also give my hands a break, maybe grab some gloves. But so far showing kind of similar behavior to the Spyderco Ultrafine, that curious up and down, which I assume is probably due to me testing slightly different sections of the edge, even though I've got 
like a had a sharpie mark on here a it's worn off and b the line is much uh, wider than the actual best cutting media and so some some uh, similar behaviors to that it's a little bit different in that it was very easy to slice the rope at first at this point it's feeling a lot more like the fine edge where you really have to do some back and forth to get the work done of going through the rope so I'll reload this guy go get some gloves grab some coffee and then we'll carry on Let's see if we can't <clears throat> finish this edge off. Okay, 487. Um, I don't have I don't have a clue how many cuts that was. I was just focusing on getting them in the right increments because I've had trouble focusing on that in the past. So I'll throw up a chart right here and then maybe make a little summary and I might split these up into different videos just because the tests are taking a bit longer than what I thought. Anyway, I'll throw the results so far up here. Granted, there's a lot of variation in the data still at this point. I'm gonna finish these last two tests and then we'll decide if this is even a viable test that's giving us good data. Actually, before we go, we should slice some paper. Um, this is the portion of the edge that was not tested. Obviously still gliding through paper, but you can definitely hear that louder, coarse edge kind of sound. Sounds a bit rougher. Let's take the fresh edge here and... Oh yeah, we've definitely got... Oh, missed it that time. Yeah, there's a catch right there. Yep, just at the end of the area where the rope was hitting. Interesting. But still slicing paper fairly effectively. Interesting. Well... It may be that we need to use this um, use this method to begin dulling the knife and then identify problem spots and then mark them and best test those and then we could actually identify which edges have the best integrity. Um, I suppose that would be really interesting. But anyway, we'll get it all figured out. Peace out, guys.